And welcome to Idaho State University Athletics. I'm Jerry Miller, the voice of the Bengals. And today we're talking with Jason Meter of the Meter family of car dealerships located in Pocatello. Jason, it is indeed an honor to be able to talk to you today. Well, thank you. It's uh, good to talk to you. Um, I miss the days when we had the coaches show at Courtesy Ford and uh, being able to be there and have a good time with the really good people you have working there. Yes, well, well, thank you. And uh, you know, hopefully uh, once some of this uh, pandemic passes, hopefully we'll be able to get back to that someday. So before we get into today's topic, first of all, tell us about the Meter family of dealerships and what you have. Um, well, we have our Phil Meter Toyota, Phil Meter Courtesy Ford, uh, Phil Meter Subaru, we own You Save Car and Rental and uh, Fresh Start, which is a, a used car lot that we have. Um, uh, my dad has started the business with Toyota back in 1977 and uh, been a part of the community ever since. I know I came to Pocatello in 1982, the year after the uh, ISU National Championship football team. Timing has never been one of my strong suits, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's been a great ride ever since uh, to be associated with Idaho State University Athletics. And your family's history literally um, goes back, I assume, from the time that uh, your dad, Phil Meter, got involved with the car dealerships. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't tell you when it started, but uh, ever since I, I mean, I was born in 79 and he started the businesses here in 77. So before I was ever born, but ever since I can remember, we've always been affiliated with Idaho state. We've always been affiliated with uh, just giving back to the community. I mean, so many people remember from the days of him sponsoring the, the 4th of July, um, us being involved with uh, the humane society, the, the um, animal shelters. I mean, just, you know, basically anything that has to do with ISU, uh, or, or ISU and, and Pocatello in general, we've, we've always tried to give back and, and do what we can to, to help support the community. I know that your dad's business has sponsored Big Sky Conference basketball tournaments before, uh, has been a longtime sponsor of Idaho State Athletics, both football and basketball and other events as well. Um, but I know that uh, your dad and Becky have just been fixtures uh, not just on the sidelines, but in the background of athletics for a long time. And you have kind of taken over the visible um, management of the operation. How long has it been since you've moved onto the scene here in East Idaho? Um, I started in the car business. I was actually moved to California in the car, uh, car business in 2004 moved back from California in, uh, in 2007. I kind of wanted to get my feet wet in the car business uh, someplace else where I wasn't Jason Meter or Phil Meter's son, uh, just to see if I could do it on my own. And I, I did fairly well in California. I came back here in 2007. Um, and that's kind of when I started back here. And after a couple of years, I was a general manager of our stores and uh, of Toyota for quite a while. Then in 2011, uh, started running our Ford store. And ever since then, we've kind of separated Subaru away from Toyota. So it had its own store. And so pretty much for about the past 15 years or so, I've been running, uh, been the general manager of our stores. Now, Jason, for people that aren't familiar with Idaho State University Athletics, they may not know that uh, you've been intimately associated with Idaho State football for a number of years, beginning after your graduation from high school, because you played for the Bengals for four years, and yes. I think during your senior year, you led the team in tackles with 100. Uh, yeah, I think it was in my junior or senior year. I can't remember exactly when, but I know I had a, up, a couple of years up or close to 100, then a couple of years of over 100. But uh, yeah, I played from, uh, from 97 to 01, and then I coached from, from 01 to 03 uh 03 almost going into 04 because right when I when I was done coaching that's when I left and went down to California um so definitely have been involved on on both sides as a player and a coach I know Idaho State University appreciates the involvement your family has had not just with athletics but with the university and the community 
And we're here today to talk about another great opportunity you are creating for Idaho State University Athletics. And that is uh, a scholarship endowment for the football program. Tell us about the details of this and how you came to creating this and making it possible for um, a student athlete at Idaho State University to be able to have the scholarship and be part of the football program while getting a quality education. Well, every year we've been involved, whether it's through the stores or, or personally as myself or, or my parents, we've either been a part of the, the cage club, the quarterback club, um, the Bengal Foundation in general, just, just giving money. And uh, with and I've been talking to Donna Hayes for, it seems like five years or so, about getting this endowment started. And it's always just been, you know, we've talked about it and then out of sight, out of mind or something happens and uh, just never really got a chance to do it. So finally... Um, this year, we just kind of put our foot down and said, you know, it's something we we've been wanting to do for a while. It's it's great for the for the program. The more endowments we can get, uh, which obviously just continue to build on themselves and continue to help help with student athletes, help with recruiting, help with with all aspects of the Bengal Foundation, and and not even just for for the the football program. I mean, you look at uh, other huge universities around the country that you know half of the you've got you've got universities with every scholarship has an endowment for it so then they can use so much of their other money to help pay for recruiting um even help with other sports um help with all sorts of things um nutritional stuff weight rooms so many different things that can that can help the student athletes um so it, it's, it's just a great thing to be able to help give back. And it's obviously, as you know, something that can continue building on itself every single year. And, and now that we've got the endowment actually started, um, I know that each year we'll continue, continue trying to put more money into that endowment so we can see it grow every year. Now, the initial size of this endowment is $25,000? Yes, it is. Was there anything specific that made this the right time? I know the the problems created with COVID-19 and uh, fundraising it has been more difficult because we haven't been able to gather and have things like the annual auction in, per in person, uh, which your family has graciously hosted year after year at, at the dealerships. Um, how much has that come into play in making this happen right now? A lot of that was some of the main reason because we understand the difficulties it is right now for our university, for Idaho State, to raise money. Um, you can do as many online auctions and that type of stuff, which certainly helps and certainly helps raise money. But when you're not having the the one-on-one -on -one contact and the communication and just those events where you're able to gather and talk to people about stuff and talk to former past players, current players, I mean, that's some of the big reasons of, of why you do give money because you're talking to past people or especially current players and seeing the needs that, that they have for the university and what the university needs for them. So when you're not able to get together and do a lot of those fundraising things, whether it's the golf tournaments, whether it's the auctions, all of those type of things, um, we knew that you know it's definitely much harder for the university. So we wanted to make it a priority to, to do the endowment now. Well, we can't express how much we appreciate not just the association in the past, but what you're doing right now for the community and for Idaho State University. Um, are there any specific requirements tied to this endowment and the scholarship that will come out of that uh, that a player needs to meet? Um, not really on our end. I mean, I mean, we think, uh, you know, between the NCAA requirements and, uh, you know, what you have to have in terms of, I, I forget what they call it, but the grade point averages and all the stuff, there's a certain name or something that goes with it. I can't remember what that is right now. What It's a, some type of score that they have. Right. Um, there, there's so many rules in place that, that and, and uh, requirements that they already have. We certainly weren't going to add more to it and, and make it more difficult. We just uh, kind of wanted to designate it towards the, the football program of course, because I, me playing football, but uh, we didn't want to do anything of, oh, it has to be an offensive player or defensive player or even a certain position. 
you know, whatever can help out the foundation and whatever can help out the program is, is what we want to be able to do. Well, Jason, again, uh, on behalf of athletics at Idaho State University, and I know you will hear this over and over again, thank you so much for what you and your mom and dad are doing and have done throughout the years and uh, their great support of Idaho State University and the athletic program. Um, I've been involved <clears throat> since coming uh, to Pocatello in 1982, and uh, Phil and Becky Meter have been there courtside or in the stands or involved in uh, the fundraising events and activities, providing cars for coaches. All of those things have just been consistent from the get-go. And uh, I know on behalf of the football program as well, we want to thank you for your generosity and your concern. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we're, we're glad to be able to do it. And we certainly understand that, you know, when times are, are hard and the pandemic and, and it, those are the times when you need to give back the most. That's the time when it actually helps the most. Not when uh, always when things are great, hunky dory and, and everything's going the way it should. That's when it's when it's hard is when you should donate, when you should give back. Well, Jason, we again appreciate your generosity. We look forward to hopefully seeing you in the stands uh, when this spring football season gets underway in a few weeks. It, certainly going to be a different kind of animal with an abbreviated schedule and some of the schools in the big sky not participating but we're crossing our fingers that next fall we're going to be back to normal and be able to pack the dome and not have to wear masks as we do so well if they'll uh, if they'll allow me to be there i'll certainly be there i try not to ever miss a game and uh so i i'm gonna if i can be there i'm going to that's for sure Jason, thanks for what you meant to the program from the time you put on a Bengal uniform to today. And thanks to your, your family and your businesses as well. Thank you. I appreciate it.